In this video, we're looking at the pen tool, but we're also going to look at another permutation of the pen tool, which is the, if I hover over here, the curvature tool. So starting with just the pen tool, this one can be a little bit confusing when you use it for the first time. Um, one of the reasons for that is it doesn't behave as people often will anticipate that it does, where you kind of click and drag and then you create a line. Now remember, the fundamental element within Illustrator is a path. And the pen tool is actually about creating paths. It's not so much about drawing lines, because if you think about it that way, it's not going to give you a very clear picture of what the pen tool does. You're creating custom paths that allow you to manufacture custom shapes. So it's more of a dot to dot thing. So if I just start clicking dot to dot using the pen tool, it will fashion a shape that fits whatever unique style is that I'm trying to create. And I'll come back to my original point. You'll see this little circle appear around the cursor that shows that I'm about to close off the shape. And then suddenly I have my own custom shape that I can treat just like anything I've made with the ellipse tool or the rectangle tool. I can use the pathfinder to merge shapes together. I can change the color. I can resize, flip, and scale, and squish, and whatever I want to do to it. Basically, the pen tool allows you to create custom shapes. Now, this one was done just by clicking point to point using straight lines, but the pen tool also allows you to use curves. And they're sort of responsive curves. So if I just click a point here, and then I go to the next one and click and pull while still holding down, it allows me to create a bend. So I'm choosing what I want that bend to look like. And then you'll notice that the very next line I try to create attempts to follow that curve. This gives you sort of clean curves all the way around. Although it does take a little bit of practice to get accustomed to how to even use this tool. Now if I start off a fresh shape by clicking and dragging, I can go ahead and start a curve, which then leads to another and another until I come back to this point. You'll find that a lot of shapes that you create though are actually a mix between the two. They're curves and they're straight lines. One of the tutorials that I do shortly after this one is creating a, uh, a spaceship logo that utilizes both curve and straight line within the same piece. So I could create something like a curve like this, but what if then I want to transition to a straight line? Well, it's actually pretty easy. Each of these th dots that I'm dropping are actually anchor points. And if I hover over that anchor point, it gives me the option to convert it. So I can convert this one back to a straight line, go back to those as long as I need them, and then back to curves again. So you have the flexibility to create straight lines and curves even within the same shape, allowing for even more unique structures to be built. So again, the pen tool requires a little bit of practice. It's a good thing to get in there and play with, but it's really useful for things like, uh, say I draw out a design first and then I bring it into Illustrator and trace over the top using the pen tool by fitting the curves to whatever it is that I've drawn. Another thing that's useful for this is the curvature tool. This one gives me a similar type of work, but allows me to continue to modify that curvature depending on how I bend it. It's meant to give you more cohesive overall shapes. And in this one, I'm not having to click and hold down to get the curve because that's all this tool is built for, is creating curves. You can see as I come here and hover over closing that, it attempts to round it out to an egg shape as best it can. The curvature tool is a little bit better than the pen tool itself at creating cohesive, rounded objects. And it's good for that because the pen tool sometimes is not. So combining the two of these together to use for different things and then merging the shapes together using the Pathfinder, etc., allows you to create a lot of really unique custom shapes very easily in Illustrator.